How's it going guys? Cold there, back again, dropping yet another video. Right guys, uh, I was aware of the story that I'm about to read you on my former prison of Forest Bank. I told you a few days ago when I did the last video that the next story reference Forest Bank isn't very far away at all, right? And here it is. Now, I was aware of this uh, before it was confirmed and before it went live and everything. Uh, the story's in the Manchester Evening News, my local paper. Uh, she'll put a link in the description below like I always do. Uh, now, remember last week, I think it was last week, no, two weeks ago, there was a, a prison officer's car was petrol bombed and the car next to it also went up, right? Now, I went to the prison the following day and saw one of the cars was still actually there, a Nissan Micra. Um, now, I'm going to read you this story, guys. This, this, Just listen to this for stupidity. Right? This, this gives you everything you need to know about certain prison officers at Forest Bank, right? So this car was targeted. It was it was petrol bombed. Apparently, two kids on a motorbike rid up, petrol bombed the car. Um, the second car went up because of the close proximity. It was a targeted attack, according to the police. Um, I'm going to read you this, guys. This just has to be believed. It has to be hit, listened to to be believed. Check it out. Forest Bank prison guard whose car was torched is sacked after it was discovered the vehicle was neither insured or taxed. We can confirm this member of staff no longer works for us. A prison guard whose car was petrol bombed has lost their job after it was discovered the vehicle was neither insured or taxed. As reported in the Manchester Evening News, two prison guards' cars were badly damaged in what was described as a targeted attack. It's believed the two men on a motorcycle rode into the staff car park at Forest Bank Prison in Salford and torched the cars. The incident took place on Thursday of last week. But after an investigation into the incident, it has emerged that one of the officers did not have insurance or tax for the vehicle. His employment has now been terminated. An HMP Forest Bank spokesperson said, We can confirm this member of staff no longer works for us. A source told the MEN a petrol bomb was thrown at a Nissan Micra, which was badly damaged with, splains, with flames sorry, spreading to a Volvo parked in the next bay. The car park is protected by a barrier, but accessible to members of the public on foot. The source said it's a target attack. Some cons will turn around and say, right, your car's getting blown up if you don't give them what they want. Now they are saying this is what you'll get. There's a barrier on the staff car park, but it's quite accessible. Somehow these two guys on a motorbike have got onto the car park and thrown a petrol bomb at the car. It's totally melted the first car. It had all the owner's possessions in it, like his mobile phone, because obviously they're not allowed to take them inside. It's still parked there now. The damage is undescribable. Forest Bank confirmed the incident was being investigated by police. Now what I want to bring you to the aware of, right, is one second, one second, one second. Right, now the, in the article you hear him say, you heard him say in the article that there is a gate, right? Now, look at this. This is the gate they're referring to. Right, you can see there where the red thing is in the center of your screen. That's the barrier to the staff car park, right? Look to the other side where the car's burnt out with the door open. It's not even in the car park, right? So the prison officer in this case, now, like I said, he's called Nathan Smythe, right? That's his name, Nathan Smythe. Um, he's a prison officer within the jail. Uh, he's now been sacked, so he's lost his job. Um, like I said, any, any of my Forest Bank contacts, Nathan Smythe, Officer Nathan Smythe, he's now been sacked. Um, but what are the chances, guys, right? So you drive your car to work. He's probably got no license because if you've got, if you had a license and you're getting paid the wage that they get paid at Forest Bank, you get your car insured, wouldn't you? And you drive to work and everything. So he's probably got no license, uh, no insurance and no tax. His vehicle gets blown up. Like I said, it, it's the car in the video, uh, the car in the picture, the Nissan Micra, um, which he can't claim. The, I think it was on an 02 plate anyway, 02, 07, I can't remember. I took a picture myself, which I'll try to include. Um, but yeah, lost his job now, out of a job. Stupid, stupid. This is, these are the sorts of officers that they're employing at Forest Bank. Now, not all officers. There are some very good officers at Forest Bank. Like I say, Sando, Big Ada, uh, Lofty, Blanket, Ollie, who was a red badge, uh, Miss, uh, what's she called? Miss Prince, the arse of the bank, Miss Prince. 
some very good officers, Souza, Jungi, uh, Kavanagh, um, there's some very, Bertie, there's some very good officers at Forest Bank, yeah, man. Um, but they're replacing them, these experienced officers, and they're bringing in young, stupid prison officers. And look at this. Imagine that. So you, in the space of a week, two weeks, you've lost your car. Your car's been blown up, so someone's pissed off at you for some reason. Then you can't claim off your insurance because it's not insured. Your vehicle's not taxed. The police come knocking and speak to you at the door. You lose your job. It just, it just beggars belief, guys. It really, really, really does. Um, another, another officer out of the job. Unbelievable. Like I say, the next story. There is, there is a massive story coming on Forest Bank, and I can't say anything about it. It's about a senior manager um, who's been suspended. That's as much as I can say. I'm not willing to say any more than that because we're trying to work out and confirm the details. Any of my sources from Forest Bank that see this video, uh, higher up the better. Uh, I'll put my number in the description. Please reach out to me um, and let me know if you, if you are aware of why a senior member of staff has been suspended at Forest Bank. Let me know. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. The, the next story reference for his bank is not very far away. I always say this and you'll see what I mean. Leave it there, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.